where are all those persons that like to drink gari gather here we have a meeting yes we want to just no we want to gossip about drinking gari while i was growing up gari is one of the foods you can find readily available even if there is a meal being prepared it's something you can take quickly yes you can take gari as cereal so you can drink gari moreover this is nigeria we call it gari gari is processed cassava flour is it a fact or is a myth still flowing around that drinking gari causes eye defect causes eye problem i for my part i do not have a conclusion yet maybe at the end of this video then we'll draw a conclusion together or do you have a fact already established now whether drinking gari causes eye defect or not we need to watch this video to the end hello everyone yeah welcome to this edition on body gist in this edition we want to talk about we want to clarify the fact that drinking gari whether it causes eye problem or not i am sister Ozo augusta i am a sister of sengi i am also a nurse and a midwife to all our returning subscribers i'm saying a big thank you to all of you and for those just joining us ensure you click on the subscribe button turn on your notification so that you always get notified anytime we upload new videos you can also follow us on on all our other social media platforms we're on twitter instagram and facebook do not go away we'll be right back now when you see some persons drink gary or consume gary as cereal you would not but just love the way they take it because it is very sumptuous some persons take it with granite some even use coconut to to take it they add milk some people even add sugar they add chilled water to go down with it and you can't but just love the way they take this gary but is it a fact or is it still a myth that when persons take gary repeatedly that's consuming gary drinking gary repeatedly that it will lead to eye problem or eye defects now let us understand some facts gary as we call it is processed cassava flour and it is gotten from cassava cassava is one of the known roots and tubers and like so many roots and tubers in their raw form they contain a compound that is known as cyanide and cyanide when it combines with sugar produces cyanogenic glycoside this compound in them is what makes them what makes herbivores are some animals not to be able to attack them so cassava in its raw form if you take it in that form contains cyanide and this cyanide is not healthy for the body is this cyanide that causes some of the defects or some of the problem that occurs in the eyes so when we consume gary that is not well processed it means that there are still levels of cyanide that will be remaining in the gary we are taking and constantly taking this gary means that we repeatedly expose ourselves to these levels of cyanide that causes toxins in the body then if we also take raw cassava that is not processed it also exposes us to levels of cyanide that causes defects in the body and most especially in the eyes so how does cyanide affect the eye now repeated consumption of cyanide from unprocessed cassava that's from raw cassava or from gary that is that is not that is not well processed it will expose us to accumulated levels of cyanide and this accumulated levels of cyanide suppresses the function of vitamin a and we know that vitamin a helps in improving the eye function this it does by improving the metabolism of the retinal layer it also helps in optic optic nerve function and the optic nerve is one of the nerve that helps to transmit impulses within the eyes now cyanide also disrupts the function of the antioxidants by combining with some amino acid and making the, and the antioxidant in the eye not to function properly remember that the functions of the antioxidant is to mop up free radicals individuals who are experiencing this might be experiencing blood vision or cloudiness in the eye they can even experience cataract or it can lead to eye blindness then cyanide also help to disrupt the aqueous humor pathway aqueous humor is the one that ensures that fluids supply nutrients to the eyes if this happens it will lead to eye dryness and it can lead to itchy 
less in the eye that the individual might be experiencing. Are you already thinking of what I'm thinking? With all this that cyanides can do, do you still consider drinking Gary a meat or fat? Whether it is a meat or fat, now let us understand this also. Before you can drink Gary, know that Gary would have been would have undergone some processes, and some of the processes is that you would harvest the Gary from the farm, the Gary would be peeled. Peeling Gary removes cyanide from it. Then Gary will also be washed before it is taken to the grinding. Washing Gary removes the cyanide from Gary. Gary will be dried. It will sometimes it will undergo fermentation. All these processes help to remove cyanide from Gary. And of course, we will fry the Gary before it is taken. So all this help to remove cyanide from the Gary. Anybody that gets cyanide from Gary means that that Gary is not well processed. Now we already know that we cannot get cyanide except the Gary is not well processed. So what is my take? Does Gary still cause eye defect? It depends. If you take raw cassava, it means that you will be consuming cyanide from it. Then if you take a Gary that is not well processed, it means that you'll be cons consuming cyanide. And repeated consumption of cyanide can lead to eye defect. Before you take Gary, ensure that you know the source of processing, the source of production, that you know the source where it is coming from and ensure that it has undergone all these processes I'm talking about. Then, I also have an advice for persons who process the Gary themselves, people who fry Gary mainly. These people are also at risk of consuming cyanide. You know why? Because at every process as they are frying their Gary, they try to taste it. So when you taste Gary that is not well fried or well dried, you will be consuming cyanide. So when you are frying your Gary, Make it a point that you do not taste it until the gari is ready for consumption to prevent you from taking in cyanide. So what's your conclusion on gari consumption? I leave you to be your own judge. Whether gari consumption is still a meat or is now a fact that it causes eye defect. But remember, if you take gari that is not well processed, you'll be taking cyanide. And if you take cassava, raw cassava, You'll be, taking, you'll be taking in cyanide and repeated levels of cyanide in the body can cause eye problem or eye defect. Thanks for watching this video to the end. If you have found value for this video, do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video with your loved ones. You might be saving a life. I still remain Sister Ozo Augusta. Keep following us on Body Gist while we keep giving you healthy gist. Let us meet in our next video. Thank you.